And all the purpose of this video is to give you a how-to guide on assembling the Rubbermaid high capacity cleaning cart. So firstly, I would recommend you start with unpacking everything, get it all laid out neatly on the floor so you've got quick access to them all. The tools you'll require is a can of silicon spray or another type of lubricant spray, a rubber mallet, a Stanley knife and a screwdriver. This is all you'll require. So starting with the, the main deck, we pick up these aluminium tubes. We'll start with the uh, larger one and get your Stanley knife and then just, just gently just deburr inside the tube. This helps it slide onto the onto these shafts a lot easier and save peeling back any plastic. But do both sides, just gently go around the inside, take off any burrs. As you can see there, it's just taken off slightly. And do that to all your do all of the tubes, both ends. burring all the aluminium posts we can now proceed to install the first level on the cart so you'll need a, your silicon spray now and your rubber mallet for this next step apply a bit of silicon spray on all these black posts here you can wipe this down after so don't get too worried about any overspray Apply a little bit on the inside of the pipe, just at the end there. Sit this on top and then just tap it down. Do that until it goes right down to the bottom. There shouldn't be any gap there. And we'll get our next one. Now we can put our first shelf in. Both these shelves are the same, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. We just want to lubricate all these little spigots here. That's complete. Just align that, make get all the get all the black posts in the top of the aluminium pipes evenly. Now then we can then we need to hammer these down evenly. So just give them all a couple of taps each. not essential that you use a, a lubricant spray on here but I just found it makes your life a lot easier lot, a lot less hammering to get these pipes on all right now we can proceed to putting the top shelf on These little tabs, as you can see on the side, on both shelves, this is where we'll be sliding the backing in, in for the cupboard. Hence why it won't go sideways. Once again, just tap it gently at each one. We want them all to go down evenly, otherwise it could jam, and then you won't get one of the corners down. Now we can 
proceed to sliding in the side pieces, which are here. Our front and rear panels. If you look at these panels closely, you'll notice one is very smooth texture, and then on the other side is rippled. The rippled side is what faces outwards. So we'll start at the back of the cart. Just need to bend forward in in the middle and slide it in between those tabs. As you can see here, these two little tabs. the same on the front. Just use your thumb to push it in in the centre to get a bit of a bow. There we go, that's, they're installed now. Next step is to install the top piece, which is right here. It doesn't matter which direction it's facing, they're both the same on both sides. Before we hammer that down, we need to be mindful that we've got to put the doors in when we're hammering it down. So we'll apply a little bit of silicon spray on the post first. And turn this back over. As you can see here, we want to hammer this down right until it's pushing up against the top piece here. But we want to stop about a centimetre away on either side, just so we can get the door in. So with the doors, we've got these little pieces here that go in underneath. We just need to allow enough room. So as you can see down here, we've got one little hole here. And likewise, in the top of this here. Here's our little hole that's got to line up with that. So just tap this down gently on the top here. It's good before you go too far down, just do a couple of checks with your door. As you can see, we're nearly there now. We don't want to go too much further, otherwise we won't be able to get the door on. So we'll just check the other side as well. Once again, we're nearly down there enough as well. Well now these are close enough, we can proceed to installing our first door. So start by putting the bottom piece in, then the top piece. Make sure you keep in alignment. And tap that down. Don't hammer it all the way down, just enough to hold the door. And we'll get the next side in. Turn this round for you. Now that both doors are in, we can proceed to hammering all of them down evenly. So just do like two hits to each corner. Don't hit these pieces on the side, make sure you're hitting on the top. Look 
looks like these are all in place now. Firmly seated. Now we can proceed to installing the locks. Need the key here as well. So put in your key and as you can see that's the up position. Keep it in the up position and insert it in the side just like that. And you've got a um, back nut which goes on the inside. Just need to do that up hand tight, that's sufficient. Next we need the little lock tab and the screw. Our screwdriver. We want the tab facing directly out, so horizontal. And that's also with ensuring that the, the key is still in the upright position. Once that's done, we're right to lock our first door. Now just follow the same principle on the other side. Next step is to install the, the front and rear arms. So this one is for the waste container, the yellow bag there. So it goes on the, the rear end of the cart. And just hold, the, hold it upright, keep it 90 degrees to the cart. And as you can see here, there's a little tab that slides in and locks in. Just got to give this a bit of a tap. I'll spin it around so you can see the other side. Give this a tap in. That's installed. And this is just the uh, little resting platform for the yellow bag, which once again just clips in. Just want to make sure those little clips go over those shafts. So I'll just take that off again. So those shafts there, these clips just clip onto that. So keep it 90 degrees, drop it down and tip it backwards. And that's done now. install the, the front side this is for your mop handles and so forth that's clip in the front like so next we need to install the, the handle restrainer which goes on the front of the platform which is this piece here and as you can see there's two little holes Make sure that the gap is behind it and just tap that in. So you can run your handles down there and held in by this restraint bar. Next we come to installing the hood. Doesn't matter which way it goes, just having one roller door facing one side and one the other side. There's a key for each door to lock it shut. So I just want to make sure that's unlocked. This up. Next step is to secure the hood with these four little plastic nails. There's four points, as you can see there's one there, there's one at the back, there's one on this side and once again another one at the back. So I'll start with the two front ones. Like that. the other side. Now with the kit comes these eight little fill-in pieces for each shelf. So you pick up four for the top. that in there, push it down until it goes quick, 
and same for each corner. Alright, now we're almost com complete, we can install the buckets. So we've got two buckets with the kit, one at the back, one at the front. Alright, last but not least, we just need to install our waste bag and lid. Put onto these little tabs inside. These metal brackets are for if you're using a standard bin liner, so it clips in there, so it's not necessary for the yellow bag. That being done, the last thing we need to install is our lid. Just keep it up on the 95 degree angle. Give it a bit of a tap until it clips in. That completes it. In the top of this there's a small compartment for tools and whatnot. That brings us to the completion of the setup of our Rubbermaid high capacity cleanup car. Thank you for watching.